guys this is Jamie I'm here with another video for you guys um, today I am going to do what is in my art carts so I have this one that's kind of like a mint green there's my desk and then I have one over there so I'll do this one first and then I will show you guys the one that's over there second so <laughs> I'm going to Trying to see what would be the best. Maybe I'll start with the bottom shelf here. Um, so bottom shelf is pretty simple. So I have these pencil cases that I got at the dollar store. And they house gel pens. And I've tried to keep them all separated in color. And this is like gel pens from like time. Like, like I've gotten a pack here at the dollar store. Got some at family dollar whatever so it was just like a collection over time so here's the blue purple green here I've mixed browns and yellows and they didn't have a case that was yellow so I just got this one and that's fine and this one has my oranges in it and they have sparkle, neon, and metallic. They're, they're just color coordinated. They're not really set up to be like metallic glitter and stuff. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. And then I have my pinks and reds in this one. And I noticed there's not a lot of reds in the gel pen world. So I have all those. And then in this one that's kind of sparkly, that has glitter that floats around, are my silvers and my golds. And then I have one more right here. And this one has all of my gel pens that are almost out. So if I want to use them up on a page, I can do that. And then once they're gone, I just throw them away because I have plenty more gel pens so in the back there I have a Fiskars like cutter that can cut pages perfectly straight and then I have this little bin here full of different um, art like paint Mod Podge type things so I have the sparkle Mod Podge here we have the extreme glitter hologram by folk art I have the um, glitterific this one is the black opal color there you go on the top I have some jet black matte acrylic paint I have my big thing here of odorless mineral spirits Gemini masterpiece got this at Hobby Lobby um, I have a small amount left in this bottle of Extreme Glitter um, Jelly Bean Pink. And this is by Folk Art. These you can get at Walmart, by the way. Um, I have another one. This is a gloss um, acrylic black paint. I like to use this if I want my black to be shiny. I have Maj Podge Matte. Which is nice if you're trying to seal a page and you don't want it shiny. This one is Mosh Posh Gloss. And these ones I picked up at the Dollar General. I have the Liquitex Matte Gel. Um, so gel medium. And you can use this um, on your pages prior to using like um, wet medias or you can actually use this prior to using your gelatos. Um, what I like to actually use it for is like a, like a glue for my art journals. I have a bottle of glycerin. Um, you can use glycerin with your gel pens to paint with gel pens. I have a little thing of um, petroleum jelly because you can blend pages with petroleum jelly, like with pencil. 
another glitterific. This one's really pretty. Um, this one is, uh, I'm trying to see the name, and it's, I think it's like tangerine melon or something. I like that color. I have a white candle. You can get these at the dollar store. Um, if you're wondering why in the world does she have a white candle, because you can wax your pages. So with art journaling and um, if you put lots of media on a paper, um, if you want to totally, totally secure your pages and make sure nothing is coming off in the end, you can rub wax over the top. Like you just rub it straight down like this and it will basically wax your page kind of like if you're waxing a surfboard and it works really well with art journaling um looks like i have some extra nibs here for markers and i have some white crafts mart um acrylic paint in case i need white paint I have some of this, which is Delta Creative Varnish. I actually saw this on Dee Dee Willingham's channel, and this is what she um, uses after she does her, um, like her collage type things. She uses this as a varnish to make it shiny in the end. I have another glitterific right here. This one I've used, and this is like a silver. This one's fun. And I have a gloss white from Apple Barrel. And then I have a clear gesso. And with clear gesso, you can put it on your pages um, prior to coloring in them so that um, if you're using, say, water based markers, they won't leave any streaks or watercolor it won't damage your paper so this is a kind of good thing I have seen people use this and then use alcohol markers and it not bleed through on their paper I haven't tried that yet though but this is a good one it's not too gritty the art basics one so that was my my bottom shelf moving on to the middle shelf First off, I have this little hook here on the side, and inside is my little bucket of all my Faber-Castell gelatos. Um, I have a little sample thing that I colored for a little tutorial, and I just put them on there with some troll stickers. My daughter was helping me decorate, so that works. Um, this first one right here is my um, gel, sorry about that glare, gel crayons from Shuttle Art. And so this one's pretty easy to tell what it is. So in this basket are all my jelly roll gel pens. And all of these cases, so I have a total of five pencil rolls. There's one, two, three, four, five. All of those pencil rolls in here and then I have an ink tense pencil case in the very back and then this one the bumblebees have the Cali art and this is like a mix of pencils and if you want to see what's in each one of these cases check out my pencil video I went through every single roll and pencil case to show you guys what pencils I have and then moving on to the top kind of give you a overview here so in these jars right here these are my um, Faber-Castell eco eco color grip pencils they have a triangular barrel they're like my go-to pencil I have some scissors here and these fine liners looks like this one is a Arteza, so these are the Arteza regular fine liners. Looks like I have a Stabio in there. So it's like a mix of fine liners in this one, and I just threw in a pair of scissors. I don't know what's going on there. Um, in this little thing that 
it's almost empty has my odorless mineral spirits I have a little spray bottle and I just did that tutorial the other day trying to see if I could get my gelato to create a purple spray and I am still seeing if I can get it to to like pigment up this um, bucket right here has a mix of gel pens so I have these fine fine ultra fine gel pens that are by, if I can get this to Baoki, they're 0.6. And then I have some of the Zig Winkostellas here. I just have two, I think. Nope, I have three. But I wanna say my clear one is almost all gone. And then I have a few Pentel Sparkle Pops in there that are left. I have one pencil case here with pencils in it. Um, right in here, I need to get some more and put in here are my Q-tips that I use for blending. Um, this little bin down here is like a mod podge of stuff. I've got highlighter, gel pen, some metallic marker. This is just a regular pen that I got from Disneyland. Um, just a regular mermaid pen, a uh, mechanical pencil, just kind of a collection of stuff. <laughs> so right here are some books that I like to keep by my desk. In this first one, I have the Mini Pusheen coloring book. And then I have the I Love Cute coloring coloring book. This right here is my um, glue book or art journal, my portable one. I have a little freebie that Color It sent me with my pens, so I just kept that in there. I keep my pocket size books in here, so my Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls from Hannah Lynn goes in there. And my um, Grayscale Minis from Selena Fennick goes in there. I have a Hannah Lynn bullet journal that I keep swatches in. That I keep right in there. I have this little um, Design Originals Color Relax coloring book. These ones you can pick up at Walmart kind of by your checkout. And I use this to test out different like medias and stuff. Um, I have this that isn't coloring related but it's fun. It's um, the big book of Disney word searches and I like word searches so and I love Disney so I thought that was fun so I picked it up. Um, another mini coloring book is the Yeti travel size monster coloring book. If you're wondering why my monsters look like that it's because I diamond painted on top of them and then covered them with Mod Podge just to see what I think and but it's cute my daughter's colored in this book too but it's just a fun little book that doesn't take very much time to color um, the next one I have is the Sherry Baldi's besties buttons and bows coloring book this pocket edition I have my postcard book and this is from Japan I have another Hannah Lynn bullet journal. I haven't done anything in this one. I have this one, which is the Aubrey Hepburn, She Said It Best coloring book. And this one's like quotes in it. And I just use that to test media on because it's really thick paper. I have a little, it's like a little comic, uh, Disney Princess comic that I think is just kind of fun, so I, I keep it in the cart. <laughs> um, I have my Toki Doki uh, coloring book because it fits nicely in there. My Dreamlings 2 PDF coloring book that I printed. And planner. And then on the back here is I have a graph composition notebook 
Um, sometimes I need graph paper. My son did that Mario. But sometimes I need graph paper, and so I can just take it out of this. And that was from the dollar store. In the back here, I have my um, Bic washable markers. My um, Bic colored pencils. The kids ones. And these watercolor macaroon colored pencils. And then I have a couple composition books. I really like composition books to use as like art journals or um, sticker books or glue books. So there's this one. I haven't used it yet. I liked it because it had all the little game things. And this is another one I haven't used yet. And I liked the pattern on this one. So I have those two. And then this one is my 2020 composition book that I am, have written down things like I'm trying to collect the Julia Rivers collection and like I put stickers on what I want to get, and books I would like to have, my whip list, um, you know, things like that. No buying for 15 days, you know, things like that. I keep in this book so I'll put those things away here in a minute but that is all that's in this cart which is actually the unorganized cart now moving over to my other cart you can see my shadow because it's nighttime and I have just my regular lights on so hopefully you guys can see what I have here so on the very top here, I have a little spinner of the these Click Gel Pens from Bic Gelosity. Um, I got the spinner and the gel pens for like $15 on Amazon. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. These two buckets have my Crayola Super Tips in them. Some of them need to be turned upside down just so that the ink flows down to the tip. And I have my Herbal Essences hairspray so this is um kind of like an aerosol spray can so that I can um spray pictures that I do with an eyeshadow background and it smells really good it smells like mangoes or something and then I also have workable fixative from Krylon you can use this as well in this little bin underneath right there I keep tissue paper and napkins for um, art journaling. First drawer here, I have a lot of fine liners. So this is like a mix of different fine liners that were like cheap ones. This one I have some Stabios and um, the, the Bic, I think they're Bic. Yeah, Bic Intensities. Um, the Crayola Ultra Fines. Uh, these are just some cheap ones that I got and in the back these are dollar store fine liners if I can close it um, my second one is kind of like my watercolor bin so I've got water brushes here regular paint brushes and some um, little blender things right here um, I have the both of these are the Koei watercolors by Sakura. This is just the bigger one. This is more of the travel size. And then in the back here, I have this one right here that's um, like a pastel um, metallic watercolor. And then these ones are metallic watercolors as well. So I have plenty of metallic watercolors. Next one is where I house all my Tombow. These are the Tombow dual brush pens. So I've kind of separated them in color category. And then the blenders are on the back. And these little baskets I got at the dollar store. I think it was like five for a dollar or something like that. Next one is a messy drawer. So I have diamond painting. Diamonds obviously in here. Deco foil. This is um, watercolors, 
in these little um, Disney Tupperware from Tupperware snack things. They have um, gel crayons in them, or gel highlighters in them that you can use for coloring. More diamond painting stuff. That's just diamond painting stuff. The next one. So these are my extra Prismacolor pencils. Um, this one was sparkly case. Are my Click Art Zebra markers. And these are actually really fun, guys. I put the whole set, the big set, on my wish list because I actually really like them. I bought just one small set just to see if I'd like them. And they're really, really fun. Here I have some mechanical color pencils and regular mechanical pencils. These are refills for mechanical colored pencils. Here we have the zebra ones. The ones I got from Japan. And then these ones are the June Gold. In the back here is my Crayola Twistables. And in this one, I just have some cheap watercolor pencils. So that is all in that one. If I can close it, probably not. This next one houses all my um, silky crayons, except I did put um, some highlighters in there. If you can see that, I have some highlighters and some Crayola markers. The doodle Crayola markers. <laughs> it's kind of like a messy drawer. And like, I have some colored pencils here, the Prismacolor Color Erase, and... This is my silky crayons. Those ones are glitter watercolor pastels, which are um, gel crayons as well. So that's kind of what's in that drawer. And this one, um, I keep white gel pens and white pastas here. These are my black gel pens, black pastas, and black Sharpies. Here is my eyeshadow palette that I got on holler.com. I got this huge eyeshadow palette. I don't remember how much it was. It was, it was like nine bucks. And then I have my classic chalks from Pebbles. Whole bunch of gel pen refills. The ones from Color It right there that came with the, the pens. So I keep those in there. This next one I have... These are um, Ahuhu uh, water brush markers, and they're not all Ahuhu. Some of them are just off-name uh, watercolor brush markers that I've just put all together in this little bin that I got at the dollar store that doesn't want to close. <laughs> um, diamond painting stuff. I got these cool buttons for er, art journaling because I like steampunk. And I thought they looked really cool, so I got them. And then I have a whole bunch of cosmetic wedges because I like to use them with my pastels or my eyeshadow. Down here we have some Crayola skin color ones. Just kind of a mishmash of markers. These are like glitter markers and paint markers. These are brush markers. I have the Sargent brush markers and some oh hoo hoo or oh, no tan mint markers that are the dual tips in there. These were um, really cheap ones I found at the grocery store. They're the mate maybe or mate dual tip markers. And then the last one here. I keep, uh, this is cardstock, and I keep my stencils in here. I keep, this is like a magnifier. Um, these are all the Fabiana Atanasio posters that come in those books. 
keep those in there. I have a sketchbook. I have a testing book that I got um, in a package that I ordered from China. It's not very big, it's thin, so it's like a really good tester. There's some more stencils. But yeah, there's nothing too glamorous in there, just paper stuff. But that is all in that cart. So, basically, you've seen what I have in this cart. I'm in this cart, and then I gave my desk tour just prior to this video. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for my clutter, my up and down. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. Thanks for watching my videos. And I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.